Hi there and welcome back to The Money Effect, where I bring you all news, money and finance related. This is just, uh, you know, for informational purposes, it's not investment advice. So now that's out of the way, let's go. So I haven't done a video in a while and I thought I'll just do a brief video, kind of just let you know what's going on in the markets, kind of the main themes that's driving the markets. And yeah, what's happening? There's a lot of pain on the street, a lot of pain on the street. But where I'll start from is, um, you know, obviously the biggest news that came out last week was uh, this lunar collapse. So if you do a Google search and you Google uh, Lehman Brothers 2008, um, you know, you had that that's started the financial crisis in crypto. There's been there's been a lot of um, crises and probably this is what like the, there was a MT Gox exchange and obviously this is this is another one to add to it now I'm not gonna be I wasn't I'm not somebody that was invested in Luna um, this whole uh, UST pegging to the dollar but not actually having dollar is it's very technical and you know I'm not even sure how it, it collapsed so I'm not even gonna try and explain it I think the main thing to take from this is the fact that um, you know, let's look at the lunar price, you know, this was doing nothing, 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 boom, so it literally, within what, like a week, went from, let's see, £4.40 to what it is now, that's not even, I don't even know what that is, that ain't even, that ain't even a penny, so it's totally collapsed, uh, I think, I think the point to take from this is that when you invest in your money, um, you know, you work hard for your money, there's, there's a levels of risk tolerance and in different asset classes, you know, least risky would be, say, government bonds. You know, you pay the government um, lump sum, they give you some interest rates or, you know, then private bonds. Then you've got assets, different types of assets. You know, we're seeing these growth stocks or you know, very speculative stocks going down and then crypto. So there's different types of assets that give you different types of risk scales. Cryptocurrency in a whole is 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 an unknown element. I'm a believer, and I do believe you should have some money in it. And I believe that you know in the future some of these cryptos are gonna change the world. But there's a lot of them that are just nothing. They're what they call fud. They're just nonsense. So you know you sympathise with anybody that's lost money in this whole thing. But the lesson to learn is that. These crypto, especially assets in general, you can lose money. They can go to zero. That's just life. But, you know, your property is, is, is a safe value. But your property, you know, right now property prices are higher. So maybe you could say property is a safe value. But property can go up and down. Crypto is very speculative. Anybody, did, they were offering, I think, 20% return. Now, obviously, interest rates are going up. They're about 1%. So people are looking at that 20% thinking, wow. This is this is amazing, and I know people that have lost money in this, but this is speculative. So anybody that's thinking, oh, I've got ten thousand pounds in savings, I'm just going to dump it all in Luna, to, is, is is ridiculous. You know, like you really, like I said, I have sympathy for anybody that's lost money in this, but you know, you're you're really like leading to your own downfall. So I think that's what people need to take from this. You know, if you've got ten thousand pound in total, you know, I would say. <laughs> 500 pound maybe invest in luna if that you know and you lose 500 pound it's a big loss but it's, it's 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 not your whole savings you know if you're putting your all your money into this kind of things it's just crazy so that's the big story and it's, and it's had a negative impact on crypto it's bringing a lot of things down obviously people pulling their money out and we'll see how this plays out now this could be a bottom for crypto i don't think so i think crypto might fall a bit more but you know if you're averaging in and you know, you're not really feeling this. Like, I've got crypto. I'm not really feeling this that other people are feeling, you know. Like, people are saying, and I'm going to do another video about more specific to the actual stocks. But people are like, oh, this losing so much money. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'm losing money as well. But it's not the pain that they're, they're losing. Because, you know, this is probably the one period where I'm adding in monthly that I'm not actually feeling it. But if you're somebody that thinks, oh, yeah, I'm going to, make 20% off UST, I put in 10,000 in April and in May it's worth nothing, then obviously you're, you're, you're in a different position to me. Now, there is some revival plans. Again, 
I'm not a lunar expert, not a crypto expert. There is some plans if you have lost money in this. Um, you know, they're, they're trying to revive it. Can they really revive something that like this that's just basically lost all credibility? I don't know. Be warned. One of the rival plans of people thinking that, uh, and I'm not going to lie, I'm, I am one of these people that I, I, put, I had a little cheeky amount and bought some um, terror at these prices, you know, thinking, well, if it goes back up to even $1, for the, the 50 quid I spent, I might make a lot of money. But one of the rival plans is saying that anybody that kind of bought during this period is they're going to use their money to refund the people that bought here, which to me is a bit ridiculous because if you bought here and you lot and you put you lost out, that's kind of your problem, right? So I don't know why you would want the people that bought here thinking they were going to make a quick buck to pay the people that bought here. So if you are somebody that's thinking, no, I might put twenty, put money in here. If it ever goes back to one dollar, you know, you're looking at pff, some major. You might be a millionaire or something from like a hundred pound. But just bear in mind that they could burn your tokens to pay back these people. So again, just put what you can afford to lose. That's that's what people really need to understand. Everyone wants to be a millionaire overnight, but just let's, let's just um, put what you can afford to lose. So what's going on in the markets now? So that was the main news in crypto. What's going on in the markets? Obviously, we still got uh, Ukraine, Ukraine and uh, Russia pending. Again, I'm not really following it, but it's still on. Casualties are taking on both sides. We had a Russian, um, uh, a Russian general come out and say, you know, Russia basically underestimated Ukraine. Ukraine are fighting, and and, and I don't know, I don't know why they they would feel that they could just walk up into the next man's country and, and they're not going to do nothing about it. So obviously they're defending themselves. So this thing is just dragging on, obviously leading to other implications that we can, we're going to talk to about later. But, you know, one of the big things that is NATO and, you know, um, Russia colliding now, uh, Russia already warned NATO saying, you know, you're supplying our... Ukraine with weapons that needs to stop now the weapons NATO are supplying them with is defensive weapons you know um, NATO already said they're not going to give Ukraine any attacking weapons because if imagine they gave Ukraine an, a plane for example and then, and then some Ukraine guy said you know I'm going to go on a kamikaze mission and bring the fight to Russia and start bombing Russia then Ukraine Russia are going to be like wow so basically we're beefing with NATO now and that's now the nuclear thing back on the table but at the moment, it looks like this thing is just dragging on, which is causing other implications. But in terms of like fallout, World War Three, it's you know, who knows. But you've got to keep an eye on it. And the latest one is that Finland and Swingland that are basically on the border. They share a border with um, with Russia, trying to join NATO, which again will bring them in conflict. And Turkey are kind of rejecting it. And to be honest, Turkey probably doing the world a favour because <laughs> this could again escalate it. But this thing is still going on inflation i talked about inflation go watch my videos i said that would be the main topic this year i said these central bankers don't know what the hell they're talking about they're living on a different planet to you and i and that inflation was a big issue and lo and behold we're in may inflation is hit a 40 percent year high and, and, and it's not that you know these policy makers they they've got phds and whatever else they've got but they don't live in the real world that we and you live in. You can just walk out into the streets and go into shops and you see everything is going up. So how these people at the start were saying, oh, it's just, uh, you know, uh, Fed. And again, look, in America, it's slightly slowed. They were just saying, oh, it's transitionary. It's just transitionary. And obviously this, again, we'll, when we talk about stock specific, this is having a big impact on the stocks because interest rates are going up and it's why all them growth stocks are getting hammered. But again, it's just like, you know, um, what's going on with inflation now at the moment people are saying it's a supply shock um, you know we'll go on to China but China you know they've got zero Covid so basically as soon as they see five people with Covid they lock down the whole economy obviously as we know a lot of things are built in China that's no supply um, prices are going up but it's not just that you know, these people, these central bankers need to take some responsibility. All that QE, that quantity reason, all that money they pumped into the economy last year when everybody was investing in stocks and was becoming gurus and the stock market and now all these people just kind of disappeared or, they, or they're not, or they're just doing other things now. That is why 
that we've got inflation high as well because of this, because of the Federal Reserve. And now that they're reducing all that liquidity, they're taking it out. You know, that's like you're weaning a crack addict off crack. Obviously, if you give you give a crack addict crack, they're going to be on a high. They're going to be up. But, you know, but, 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 but that's what happens. So who gave the stock market the crack? It was the Federal Reserve. And obviously now they're trying to wean that crack addict off. <laughs> When you wean a crack at the off, I don't know if anyone's seen Train Spot, and I don't think that was crack, I think that was like heroin. But, you know, you, you see what happens. Go watch that film, you see what happens. It's going to be mad for a while. But, you know, in the dark will come the light, and once you go through these hard times, you know, better days will come. Then, leading on to that, obviously, this great guy here, um, B.O. Bailey, he's, he, he's decided that. That the the reason the economy is doing so bad is because of um, you know we need we need to, we need to increase interest rates to get inflation down. But when you increase interest rates, what does that mean? Again, I spoke about this. You increase interest rates, um, mortgages are expensive, the credit card debt is expensive, car loans are expensive, and the UK in particular is a country that's built on debt. Not that saying it's a bad thing, but that's how it is. I don't think you're gonna you're rarely gonna get anybody in the UK that doesn't have credit card cut these you know you see these nice cars on the street and you think people spend 40 to 50 grand on a car like some people do i'm sure but a lot of people it's rentals it's, it's finance it's pcp pip whatever the hell they call it now fpi i don't know that's what it is so obviously these things get more expensive now and when these things get more expensive the people that was on the bread line can't afford these things and they stop paying it and that's when recession happens growth slows and that's kind of what the the, the fed and uh, these central banks they're trying to balance that they're trying to take inflation down but not tip the economy into a recession or what we'd call stagflation which means we still have high inflation but low growth which is the worst thing to be in now i don't trust this guy look at him he's the guy that told everyone not to ask for a pay rise he, i don't trust this guy i don't trust any of them so if he's telling you what he's doing is to save the economy, best be prepared. We could be heading for a recession. So make sure your savings are topped up. You've got enough money to cover your mortgages. Get your CV done if you need to look for another job. Just, just be prepared. I ain't saying that's going to happen, but that's what's going on right now. So be prepared. Obviously, COVID. You know, we've all forgot about COVID now, so suddenly. Um, whatever, Omicron or I don't even know if there's a new variant. But we've all forgot about it. But one country that ain't forgot about it is our friends in China. And they've basically got zero COVID policy as soon as a new variant comes. And I, listen, in April, I think there was a new variant. People got sick. But the UK they said, listen, we're living with this shit. We're living with it now. And that's what they're doing, to be fair to them. We're, we're, just li we're just getting on with it, which is what we should have done at the start. Whether you took the vaccine or not, that's your personal choice, I feel. But the, those that did take it, there's enough people that have taken it to give some kind of immunity into society where, you know, the, the rest of us or who haven't taken it or whatever can live their lives. But China's not having it. First of all, I think they're using their own vaccine, which I heard is, and I'm not even going to disrespect China, but I heard it ain't good. Uh, and then second of all, they've got a no, zero COVID policy, which means as soon as they see a flare up in COVID, you know, they're just, they're just going to... Um, you know, they're locking down the economy, which again is adding to inflation. So, you know, those are the main things that's going on now. Big incident in crypto, inflation is popping off, interest rates is going up, GDP is probably going to start going up, talk of recession, China, you know, you've got Russia and Ukraine, that's still going on. And again, that's going to lead to Russian recession, might even push the Eurozone into a recession. So it's, it's just all mad at the same time. Now, I'm going to do another video, more stock specific, but this is just to give you an idea of what's going on. But in that video, that's, I'm going to explain that really and truly, this is kind of the best time for you to be actively investing. Now, when I say actively investing, I'm not talking about putting your whole life savings into Luna to, for 20% return. No, absolutely not. I'm just talking about, you know, looking at what happened in the dot com boom, all those companies that went down. But you had some winners, you had Amazon. You know, you invested at Amazon after the dot-com boom. You're, you're, you became a millionaire. Like, this is the kind of thinking you need to have right now. Because there's no point sitting on the sidelines and then when everything gets better and everything's at sky high, that's when you start investing. No, 
this is the time where you think, you know what? Let me let me start looking at these stocks that you think that are good, you think that are the future, and they're dirt cheap prices right now. And then you have to decide how you're going to invest. Me personally, I wouldn't. If you've got the stomach for it, then do it. Invest in large money. But if you ain't got the stomach for it, start learning about average costing. Start learning about regularly putting your money in every month, £100, £200. And then in a few years when all this is up, because listen, this is life. Life is a cycle. It's over. You know, you've got some profits. But anyway, I'll leave you with that at the moment. And uh, like I said, I will do a more stock specific video. But yeah, this is the money effect signing out. Peace.